Hey guys, Emily from Food Box HQ here. Today we're talking about the Frozen Garden. The Frozen Garden specializes in ready to blend smoothies and desserts and ships them right to your door. So let's see what's in our box. All right, so once you open up your box, you're gonna see your insulation here. So this is the insulation that dissolves underwater. So that's pretty cool. As it notes here, there is dry ice. Um, ours has already dissipated, but you're going to want to be very careful when you're opening things up. So inside, we've got all of the different good stuff. So here we've got some smoothies. So it looks like we have just peachy, purple passion, frosé, chocolate dream, detox, sunrise and that's so raz we also have a fusion that is blueberry lemon and lavender and then we have a few delights so this delight is the oatmeal cookie delight the banana split delight blueberry muffin delight and last but certainly not least we have the banana bread delight so let's get organized and talk about all of these different things So Frozen Garden has three main offerings, the first of which is called a fusion. So this is essentially a way to have infused water at home without having to worry about chopping up different cucumbers or whatever it is you're looking to infuse. I know personally, I always like infused water, but I never get around to making it and I always leave everything in for too long and it just never comes out the way that I want. So the way that this works is it's just a little cube just like this and you drop that into your water, it then dissolves and just kind of gives you a little bit of a hint of flavor. So really excited to try that. Then of course they have their smoothies. So they have a ton of different varieties of smoothie. They're all about 16 ounces and all of your ingredients are right in here. You can see them through the little window in the back. And you just take these ingredients, drop them in your blender, fill this bag up to that line so that you have some additional water, throw it in the blender and you're good to go. The main ingredients are gonna be listed over here and then obviously your additional nutritional information will be on the back. So that's pretty simple. We're gonna check that out too. And then last but certainly not least, they have something that is called a delight. So a delight is essentially a way to indulge in something a little bit sweeter without feeling like you're having all of these additives or added sugars. So it very much focuses on all natural ingredients to really give that added dessert-like flavor. So we're gonna test out the oatmeal cookie delight. So the ingredients here are banana, apple, raisin, cinnamon, nutmeg, gluten-free oats, and Himalayan pink sea salt. So all of that'll come together and hopefully it'll taste like an oatmeal cookie. So let's get tasting. All right, first we're gonna start with the fusion. So this is supposed to be blueberry, lemon, and lavender. So as you can see, it looks like there are lots of little bits in the water. So we'll see if that messes with our texture. Here goes nothing. It's very subtle. It's a very, very light flavor. It's not overpowering. It's just a very subtle hint, which I guess is what you want with a new infusion. That's really nice. So next we're trying the Frosé smoothie. So this is strawberry, avocado, cauliflower, lime, and vanilla bean. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like, but I'm excited to try it. Cheers. Almost a little bit fizzy, which is interesting. I was a little nervous about the cauliflower. I don't love cauliflower in a smoothie, but that's actually pretty good. You don't really taste it. Wow, the lime gives it a nice zing. I really like that addition. It's a little bit different, not quite something I would normally pick out, but not so out there that I'd never try it again. I really like this. I gotta save room for dessert. So last but certainly not least, we're now trying the delight. So this is that oatmeal cookie. So on the directions, it does say to use milk or milk alternative. We didn't have any, so we used some water. We'll see how it goes. It said to use this amount of liquid for a spoonable delight. I'd say go a little bit under if you're gonna use water. I don't know, it might be different with milk. It's somewhat spoonable, but I think if I'm gonna eat it with a spoon, I'd want it to be a little bit thicker, but let's see how it tastes. I wouldn't say that that tastes like an oatmeal cookie, but it viscerally reminds me of being a kid and eating that apples and cinnamon oatmeal. That's delicious. It's not necessarily the oatmeal cookies that I've had, but that tastes really good. I really love the apple and cinnamon. 
Oh, it gives it so much warmth. That's really good. All right. I'm probably just gonna keep eating dessert even though I haven't had dinner yet, but I'll see you in a little bit for some final thoughts. All right, so just a quick wrap up on Frozen Garden. I love how much variety they have. They have so many different flavors of smoothie and so many different options to choose from. So if Frosé isn't something that you're looking for, they have a ton of other options. And I really like the idea of these delights. I'm always really looking for something sweet, especially after dinner. And this allows me to pick something that makes me feel like I'm making good choices while still indulging. So if you're looking for some really delicious desserts, smoothies, and and even infusions, click the link below and check out Frozen Garden.